Does the thought of holiday entertaining make you nervous? Well, don't fret my pet because today we'll be making some savory sausage stuffed mushrooms. It's a classic crowd-pleasing appetizer that's timeless for a reason. These tasty bites are made with simple ingredients but absolute showstoppers in flavor. So come on, grab some mushrooms and I'll show you how to make it. What's up, universe? Welcome back to my kitchen. And for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Julie, I'm a chef, I'm a mom, and for this season, we're focusing on some easy and yummy snacks that we can actually execute and film while our son Lincoln naps. And I guess I'm making these savory stuffed mushrooms today as kind of like our Thanksgiving episode, but really you can make them any time of the year. What you're gonna need is large button mushrooms, sweet Italian sausage, garlic, a shallot, flat leaf parsley, fresh thyme, an egg, plain dry breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, olive oil, and salt and pepper. I'm gonna start off with making the filling for the mushrooms. What I have here is a large shallot. And I'm just gonna cut these into small dice. It's kind of like, I think, a cross between onion and garlic. It just has a very unique savory taste. If you don't have a shallot, can you use an onion? I mean, sure, but shallot's the way to go. Along with my shallot, I have two cloves of garlic minced. Oh wait, hold on, that shallot is spicy. <laughs> my eyes are completely watering. And roughly a tablespoon of chopped parsley. This is flat leaf, fresh Italian parsley. And then I'm just gonna take some sprigs of thyme. And I know a lot of the times, People don't like recipes that require fresh herbs because you feel like you don't know what else to do with them. But this is why I think this would be appropriate for Thanksgiving because a lot of Thanksgiving recipes do require fresh thyme, so you might already have it. And you're roughly just gonna go for about two teaspoons of fresh chopped thyme. And then you can reserve some more thyme leaves at the end also for garnish and sprinkling. I have here 24 medium to large size button mushrooms. I went ahead and took out the stems from most of these already. I'm just gonna use a little like baby spoon, um, but if you don't have a tiny miniature spoon, you can use a paring knife, a regular spoon. You just wanna make sure that you don't really cut through the actual mushroom cap, and then you hollow it out just a tad. And don't you love recipes where there's no waste? So you're gonna actually chop up the stem pieces as part of your filling. I went ahead and did all the other stems in here and it does take a bit of time. So if you want to, you can always just throw it into a food processor and blitz it up. I also wanna add to make sure that you do clean your mushrooms well. So you can either use like a wet damp paper towel and go around them or you can just rinse them really quickly. And of course you can't have sausage stuffed mushrooms without a sausage. So here I have two links of sweet Italian sausage. And you know me, I usually like hot Italian for a lot of recipes for this one. I really feel like the sweet works. So this is roughly about six ounces or if it comes in link form like mine, then two links. And we're gonna remove them from the casings. So you just run your knife down it. You've seen me do this tons of times in my other recipes. And then you just peel back the casings. And then I have a few more ingredients that we're gonna add to the filling later after we saute everything. So I'm just gonna wash up and head over to the stove. All right, so while I'm here, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375 degrees. And I also have my pan heating up too. And it's, I'm not gonna add any oil because there's oils that come out of the sausage fat. So we're just gonna use that. But if you feel like your pan's getting a little too dry, you can always feel free to add a little bit of olive oil. So we got our sizzling and sausage. And then here's kind of a unique technique. We're gonna use a fork to crumble up and break up that sausage. Just be careful if you're using a nonstick pan like I am. Okay, so 
at this point, when your sausage is just about done being pink, we're gonna add in our mushroom stems, shallot, and garlic. You saw that I'm reserving my herbs. I don't want them to get too browned in the mixture, so we're just gonna fold them in at the end. Now you're just gonna lightly season with salt and pepper. You don't need too much because the sausage has tons of flavor. Plus we will be adding salty Parmesan cheese at the end too. Now we're just gonna cook this for a few minutes, about five, six minutes until all the vegetables are softened and the sausage is thoroughly cooked. At this point, I did reduce my heat down to about a medium high. The combination of sausage, shallots, and garlic mixed with some savory mushrooms, that is Thanksgiving in a nutshell. It just wafts through the air of your entire place. And I will say it is kind of tantalizing even to a toddler it's so savory smelling. The last time I tested this, Lincoln got up from his nap and he immediately wanted to eat this mixture. So after it was fully cooked, before I added anything raw to it, I reserved some on the side just for him because I was curious to know if he would like it. And he just kept spoon feeding it like over and over. He was just eating the mixture by itself. So all I did was add my mushroom sausage mixture to a bowl to cool down a tad. And then you throw in your herbs. And that, this way, when you fold it in, it smells so fragrant and it still stays green. And in an ideal world, you would want to let this cool down even more, like completely cool, so that when you add your egg and your cheese, it won't prematurely cook or scramble. But I'm gonna be real with you. We hear our son waking up and we brought our baby monitor over here. So I think we just gotta like move along. This is two tablespoons of plain dried breadcrumbs. You don't wanna use the ones with seasoning in it. It'll be like too seasoned. And then I have two tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and then one beaten egg. And then you can see how that egg acts like the glue, and the cheesy goodness does too. Now we're just gonna season the inside of the cavities of the mushrooms lightly with salt and pepper. Otherwise, it'll be too bland. You need a little bit of seasoning inside. But again, don't go crazy. Don't you just love that crackling sound? And then you're just gonna fill in your mushrooms. I like to go all the way down to the bottom, pack it in a little bit, and then with whatever sausage mixture I have left over, I go back and make it more generous and add mounds. Um, seriously, pardon my messiness. Like I really am scrambling so fast because we hear Lincoln and um, I feel bad, but if we can just get through this scene, pop it in the oven, we can go get him and then he can join us for the party. You guys, that was a totally bad idea to stuff my mushrooms in a panic right on this tray. It was a little too messy for me. So I ended up transferring them, wiping it down and putting them back on. So why don't you stuff your mushrooms on the chopping board or anywhere else and then put them onto the baking sheet. Okay, so then you're just gonna drizzle the tops of these mushrooms with your olive oil. So this is the first time you see the olive oil. This will help all the breadcrumbs and the cheese, everything to get nicely brown. And then I'm gonna pop this tray into my preheated oven, 375 degrees, for about 25 to 30 minutes, or until the tops are nice and golden brown, and as well as the mushrooms that they're nicely browned and shriveled and obviously roasted looking, like cooked. And then that's it, we're just gonna pull it out, garnish it with some fresh herbs on top and taste it. Well. Here we are. We have a special little guest. Mm -hmm. I guess you can say this is his debut. I, mean, I know. Welcome to the team, buddy. Yeah, this is our universe. <laughs> <laughs> so he's excited to try it too. Thanks for joining the party, Lincoln. He's so confused. Lincoln, you want to try? Mommy's creation? We'll see. He likes it. <laughs> is it good? Right, Yay! <laughs> Mm. Oh, that was juicy. Uh -huh. 
Be careful. <laughs> oh man, this is like a taste of home. Mm. It's so like comforting. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Lincoln approved, so obviously a toddler likes it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I said he did like the stuffing that I made before, so it's no surprise. Mm. Wow, look at him go. Thanks, buddy. That's the biggest compliment a mom I know, can get. He can't fake that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You can't go wrong with sausage and mushrooms and sauteed shallots. I mean, I think for Thanksgiving, it's like perfect because it's very, um, yeah, just that comforting home feel. Mm hmm. You could just leave it right on the roasting tray because that kind of looks nice too. And you could also plate it out on a little platter, garnish it with some fresh herbs. This was a little intense and elaborate for a snack for this season. <laughs> but hey, you gotta do it up for Thanksgiving, right? It's the holidays. It is. But obviously you don't have to wait till the holidays. Lincoln loved it. Lincoln, do you want another one? I know, he's like... Gobbling it up. Man, this is a treat the whole family is getting second helpings on. <laughs> This is perfect for an appetizer, for entertaining, or you can take this as a potluck dish. You want more? <laughs> well, for substitutions, you could definitely try hot Italian sausage if you wanted to, if you, that floats your boat, if you want a little bit of a spice. And then also try some fresh oregano instead of the fresh thyme. And then you can try mixing up with different cheeses, maybe add some Asiago or Romano. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. This is really scrumptious. It is. It was um, a hard episode to film, not gonna <laughs> lie, with a couple of interruptions. But he's a welcome guest. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like Lincoln in our videos. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to push like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you know every time we upload a new video. Yep. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. bye. Say bye, Lincoln. Say bye. Say bye bye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, good job. Lincoln. That is the best compliment that this chef could ever receive. Thank you. Gotta change him now. Totally forgot the bib. Oh well, but it looks cuter. Good job. That was really good.